what's going on y'all Sandy here coming to you from my car uh, driving down Oracle Road headed south uh, headed home um, just remembered what day it was and was reminded that I need to check in with you guys I hope you're all doing well hope this video finds you happy healthy and humble and peace and love to you watching if you're new welcome hello if you're returning hello again uh, it is thoughtful Thursday it is Thursday it is 9 slash whatever is it the 16th or something of September 2021 um, it's 105 degrees here in Tucson hopefully it will go down from here but there's no guarantees and I don't have a ton of new things to report besides the fact that I've been working a part-time job uh, during the weekdays and I'm, I'm tired a lot again now. I'm going to go home and try and take a nap right now uh, for half an hour. And I remember and I'm reminded that I'm tired a lot when I'm doing this kind of schedule, this Monday through Friday thing. Uh, and I don't like it. I don't much like it. Uh, but we all have to do what we have to do. And in this case, I have to do what I said I would do and work this job until the second week in October uh, when I can decide to either keep it or lose it and leave it. And I, as it stands, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that I'm gonna uh, walk away because I don't like being tired. I don't know if you can tell, but even in this video and trying to talk to you, I'm my energy is low uh, and I don't like that feeling because I've spent it all during my day already so I'm gonna keep this week's video short as I so often say uh, and also because I don't really have any anecdotes for you uh, last week I complained I think about the guy in the car and he didn't turn off his engine uh, this week uh, one thing that I've been trying to do is I think that we need to normalize a gentle honk when the light turns green especially at a left turn arrow if you get a green light um, I say that because so many times people are looking at their phones and I hate to say this and like the irony is here I am driving and kind of looking at my phone I'm not really looking at it very much but um, we all need to keep traffic moving and I think if, if a gentle honk means everybody goes a little bit faster and everybody's a little more on edge and a little bit more aware when they're driving, uh, that's a positive thing. So I was thinking, I've been thinking, I want to get a bumper sticker that says normalize honking when the light turns green, but I probably won't ever do it, but I just thought in my head, like, that's kind of cool. We should do that because how many times have you sat at a green light and about three people get to go in a line of like 20 plus um, or you turn left and two people get to go because the front two were sleeping until somebody honked and woke them up or made them look up from their phones because people are texting while they're driving um, I'm not gonna say that I've never done it but I'm usually pretty aware especially at a red light I check very often um, and make sure that I'm not holding up traffic behind me uh, because we are burning a ton of gas every single day. We're putting carbon into the atmosphere uh, every passing second. And I think the most efficient way to deal with that is that we all just need to go. We need to keep moving, keep traffic moving. So that's one anecdote. Another thought that I had was as I was uh, driving into work this week, pedestrians crossing the street hitting the crosswalk button and a bunch of cars having to wait for one guy to walk as slowly and leisurely as he pleases across the road. First of all, hurry up, dude, and get across the road. Run if you have to, jog at least, power walk at the very least. Um, of course they don't, that's frustrating. Uh, I think they need to build overpasses. I think that they need to eliminate as many traffic lights as they possibly can and make overpasses. I would uh, support that in my taxpayer dollar to make some overpasses so that there aren't as many stoplights, so that we're not all just sitting with our engines idling, burning gas. Uh, that's my environmental anecdote of the week. 
And I'd like to remind you to shop at 4Ocean and 10Tree, 4Ocean.com and 10Tree.com. Uh, I got a new bracelet in today, I believe. And uh, those are really good ethical environmental companies. 4Ocean cleans the ocean, 10Tree plants 10 trees for every item you buy. They're pretty awesome. Checking in. I'm doing well. I'm just more tired because I'm back to the grind, back to the usual work week. I love you all. Take good care of yourselves. Until next time, Sandy T signing off. Peace.